we're going to be transforming these heels. Lovely. The snake print thing, it's getting a bit too old for me. I know, I know it's on trend this year, but... Oh. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Please consider subscribing to this channel for lots more DIY craft videos. Whatever I'm doing on the day. Quite honestly, I don't really know how this is going to go. I probably should have bought some Mod Podge glue instead of hot glue. But I'm keeping an open mind. Let's do it. Quite a flexible rhinestone sheet. So we've got to bear in mind uh, which way all these um, little stones are going. Should we have them flat or at a diagonal angle? I don't know. We've just got to keep trying until we see what works best. I'm going to start with the back seam. So if I stick it there, this is quite moldable. It's um, quite easy to manipulate so we can take it in any direction we want and we can trim off bits that we need to trim off to kind of make it curve into the position we want. The best thing about hot glue, it dries so quick. I'm just going to stick it slowly and choose my path slowly and carefully. It seems to be working out that I should stick it at the top first. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let's hope I remember to do the other shoe exactly the same. Gulp. It's going to be difficult to trim this at diagonals, but we might have to do that because that's the only way I can kind of do it. If I just cover the top of the shoe first, that may work out. Let's keep going and we'll see. In hindsight, I should have actually started at the top of the shoe so I don't have to be cutting any diagonals off. But then the back's going to be dodgy, so hmm. I find it quite hard to trim it with these large scissors, so I'm going to swap my scissors for small ones in a minute. Just a little tip for you. Ah, this is so fiddly. The rhinestones can actually be cut because they're not proper stones. So I've kind of done that, but I don't like the way it looks, so I'm going to cut off all the half ones later on. So I'm going to be trying to spread the glue in the areas or the sections that I'm doing as I'm doing them. Bearing in mind hot glue dries so quickly, you've got to be so quick with this, no pressure. The small scissors are definitely doing the trick, so I'll go for small scissors. I've gone ahead and cut the top part of the shoe um, separate from the platform but later on I find that it's actually easier just to coat the platform as well. This is definitely looking really good though, I'm liking it so far, let's continue. The glue is looking a bit messy, I think I would have gone for the Mod Podge if I did have that now. So just a tip, get the Mod Podge instead of the hot glue, maybe, apart from maybe on the seams because it's quicker to dry. I've actually decided to start sticking pieces on, including the platform area as well. I was going to do that separately, but I don't really want it to look separate. I want it to look as part of the whole shoe. So I think that's working out quite well. We're filling in little sections with the single rhinestones that we're cutting off from bits that we don't need, which is handy.
Just gotta make sure that any piece you stick on, add on afterwards is following the same direction as the existing ones. I'm going to be using small offcuts because I don't want to be wasting any of this because we've got a lot more projects we could do with this stuff. Definitely advisable if you are doing platforms, cover the platform at the same time because it's really difficult to try and line up the stones as you'll see here. The method I've found is kind of like cutting little L shapes in it so um, to graduate the angle because these are quite square um, I'm having trouble getting the angle but cutting little L shapes is definitely working out. I actually ran out of clear glue halfway through doing this um, so I started using uh, glitter glue because I wanted to get it done. Uh, you can see it a little bit, not ideal but oh well. point I have given up trying to line up the rhinestones perfectly I think it looks kind of funky even when they're not lined up perfectly so if you definitely want them lined up perfectly do the sole at the same time if it's a platform I'm actually quite liking the half covered shoe here we might have to do that with another project just following the same procedure here um, by sticking to the seam first so at least we've got the back all lined up. I don't think it's going to matter too much if the other sides aren't too lined up. Um, but the back definitely should be. Time to cover the belt part of it, the buckle. Um, we're just going to cut out little squares. Um, well, one rhinestone for each stud here and then one rhinestone for each hole as well. Excuse my dressing gown, you know how I do, it was getting a bit nippy in here. Here's me getting a bit too comfortable with the hot glue, um, I just burnt my hand. Wow, lovely. Wow, this is beautiful. We've got a few gaps to fill with them single little rhinestones at the end. But I'm just going to continue, I'm going to leave the heel uncovered because I like it like this. It's not perfect by any means, but I think it looks better than this old one. Look at the difference. But I wasn't happy at leaving it that. I thought I need to put something a little bit extra on these and keep watching to find out what I did. So I thought these lovely shoes could benefit from a little bow. So I cut out a little piece like this, well two pieces like this, and I just folded it over on itself and glued it in the middle and made a little bow out of it. I don't know how sturdy these are going to be or how long they're going to stay, but this is basically what I did. I pinched it, glued it, put the other little bit on and stuck it straight to the shoe. I'll show you exactly how now. And I did add a little something extra on it as well, and you'll see that at the end. It is quite hard to kind of bend into shape, and you do have to hold it for quite long because we're putting a lot of glue on it, not just the dab, quite a lot and it's taken a while for it to cool down just so it covers the big blodge of glue we've got to make the bow and I added this string of rhinestones to the heel I wish it was a bit neater there is quite a lot of glue on it I'm gonna be peeling off any glue at the end when it's all set properly but I'm happy with the end result these look so much less boring there's a few gaps I need to fill on this which I'll do in a minute Here's the second one. That's also got a few gaps that need filling with the single rhinestones. And look how lovely the bows look. The backs look wicked. I love them. Imagine these in a club with all those lights shining on them. You don't have to wear them same shoes for the wedding. Fix them up and wear them again and again.
Thank you so much for watching. Do try and post every week. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.